am thoroughly back on my bullshit. <laughs> but I haven't really done a legit just vlog in a while, so. Hence me walking around, going to cafes, which is what 70% of my vlogs are. So welcome back to it. of my coffee consumption. We went from the Nespresso machine to full AeroPress coffee snob, and it didn't even take that long. And I know this sounds super douchey, but I think going to Colombia gave me like a new appreciation for coffee. I sound like one of those kids who studies abroad once and is like, oh, life is so different when you go abroad. But as long as I still have leftover coffee grounds from Colombia, I'm going to be making them like a snob. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. But Germany did not forget about us while we were gone. There was actually a little gift from the German government waiting for us when we got back, which was super, super nice of them. It came in a cute little envelope. It was my first speeding ticket. Here we are. Schriftliche Verwarnung mit Verwarnungsgeld. Thanks, guys. I gotta be honest, I have never gotten a ticket like this before. I think they do them in the US, but never, I don't know. I've never been so uh, exposed. They've even got my fucking picture on it. <laughs> Come on, I mean, this like, this doesn't even look like me. All right, yeah, it's me. <laughs> the best part is it like describes where they took the picture, how fast I was going, which is my biggest beef with this thing right here. So this, I w it was like in a zone where I was coming down the highway and it was like 80 kilometers per hour. And then within, I don't know, maybe a kilometer, it turned into 60 kilometers per hour. And by the time I hit this camera, and I knew it happened right away too, because it was one of those ones where like a flashlight goes off and you know right away, you're like, I'm gonna be hearing about this in like two to three weeks. And sure enough, it was just long enough for me to forget about it and then bang, shows up in the mail. But that's the thing, I was slowing down. I was coming from an 80 kilometer per hour zone to a 60 kilometer per hour zone and they caught me going 69 kilometers per hour. So I was going nine over when they got me, which sounds like a lot to a North American mind, but in miles per hour, that's a little over five. If someone saw me going five miles per hour over the speed limit in the US, you know what would happen? They'd wave. Have fun at your destination. Also at the end of this, it says mit freundlichen Grüßen, Mata. Not even a last name, Marta. Gotta tell you, Marta, not the friendliest letter I've ever gotten from you. It came with this online link where you can go to like an online hearing. That's really common in the US too for minor traffic violations. But then the link doesn't work <laughs> because of course it doesn't. So instead there's a letter that comes with it that you can like fill out this form and send in whether or not you admit to the violation, which of course you, I, I did. But then there's a section that's like, explain your reasoning for admitting or not admitting to the violation. And when you admit to the violation, it's like, what do I, cause I did it. That's, that's why. I just left it blank. I actually got other letters in the mail today. I really hope that there's not something else scary. Now that I've gotten this letter, now I understand Postangst which is the German word that describes the anxiety you get when you get a new letter in your mailbox <laughs> and you don't want to open it up. Of course there's a word for it. On a scale of one to 10, how German is the word Postangst? That's eh, like a six, maybe. I guess the point of the story is that it's good to be back. Cheers.
Speaking of German words, if you ever need to argue your innocence for a German speeding ticket, you're going to need to know the language. Yes, this is the transition I'm choosing to, to use for this. And look, I know you're probably thinking, Tommy, why didn't you just use you being in Colombia as a reason to talk about learning a language? You could have talked about learning Spanish or something like that. And the reason I didn't do that is because I just thought of it right now and I'm a little too deep into the promotion to go back and start over. So we're just gonna do this. I'm gonna put these on because I feel more studious wearing them. And I also can't see without them. So I talked to you guys before about the fact that I'm learning with Lingoda right now as we speak. Well, not not as we speak, but you, you get what I mean. So far, I've really enjoyed using it. It's got me saying things and trying to speak in ways that I normally wouldn't just in everyday life. And that little bit of a challenge and in just introducing new topics to me has definitely already helped me advance my German a little bit more. And because the teachers are all native level speakers, it really helps you adjust to speaking in a way that sounds a little bit more native level as well. What's perfect for me is that it's flexible. So I can schedule the classes when I wanna take a class and I can also pick the topics that I want to study. So I never have to like sit through a class that isn't interesting or challenging for me. So while the flexibility is really what makes it awesome for me, what could make it really cool for you is the fact that they offer these language sprint challenges. It's essentially an intensive language course that offers you cash back after a two month period if you attend every class over those two months. If you take 30 classes a month for two months and you attend every single class, you'll get 100% cash back. Or if you wanna be a little more flexible, you can take 15 classes a month for two months, and at the end you'll get 50% cash back if you go to all the classes. And then on top of that, if you use my code for the language sprint challenge, you'll either get 20 euros off or $25 off your deposit. If you wanna learn online with native level speakers, I would highly recommend using my code, signing up for the challenge, and start learning with Lingoda. I've said it once and I'll say it again and I'll say it many more times. When it's sunny, you gotta go do stuff, man. You gotta walk around. You gotta pretend like it's summer because it basically is. day in Dusseldorf there was like a land hurricane the past two days people like weren't supposed to go outside so now we're safe <laughs> we'll, we'll mark ourselves safe on Facebook so you guys don't have to worry about us Amber's rushing me I'm not rushing she's you. rushing my content she's rushing my creative You're process trying to rush me out of an education so what do people have to say about that I don't I'm know a black woman trying to go and get her homework done what can you say about that well I guess we'll let the people decide. <laughs> so I have some things on the schedule today. I'm gonna go try and put together a gift basket for my friend for his birthday. He has his party tonight and it is Italian night. That's his theme. So I'm gonna get him a little gift basket of Italian goodies. I'm gonna go to this huge grocery store that has all these like delicatessen and stuff like that. And they have a really good wine. It's like the biggest grocery store, I don't know. At least in Dusseldorf, but yeah, I don't know if, sure. yeah, it's, there's so much stuff. There's like a, there's a Michelin star champagne bar in it. No, it's a Michelin star restaurant. Oh. Champagne bar separate. Okay, so the Get champagne right. bar separate. 
I don't know anything, but that's what I got to do today. So I got to put together a nice little gift basket. Amber's going to try and get her master's degree. Boring, but. <laughs> All right, good luck. Are you dropping me off at school now? Yep, I'm dropping you off at school. Thank you. Have fun Thanks. studying. <laughs> Your school is Starbucks. <laughs> All right, see you at home. Places like Willy Wonka, but for groceries. Here we go. Let's go in. At the top of the class on a roll. And it's time to run it up, yeah, you know. Maxed out, put the pedal to the flow. Hey, on a roll, here we go, here we go. Yeah, we winning by a landslide. Never see me coming, I'm a landmine. Yeah, I ain't taking orders in command light. Yeah, you about to see me on demand light. You know, on demand. If you ain't know, you about to understand. Yeah, I got the team by my side, right hand. Yeah, take it to a stream, you ain't seen it like that. Yeah, and it's the dream, and we coming for the bag. Yeah, and we ain't never going back now. Future expediting, now we on the fast track now. They won't lend a hand, now they see us on the map now. It's time to act out. Here we go. Not gonna lie to you guys, it was touch and go there for a second. I think I saw a girl get turned into a blueberry. But in the end. We got what we were looking for. Here we go, here we go, yeah. At the top of the class on a roll, hey. And it's time to run it up, yeah, you know, yeah. Mashed out, put the pedal to the floor, yeah. On a roll, here we go, here we go. So I have an update. This morning I woke up to an email from the rental company that I was renting the car from that I was driving when I got the speeding ticket. Cause I don't have a car, so I was using an app to get a car. So not only now did I get a ticket from the Ordnungsamt for speeding, I also got a fine from this company for speeding in a car that wasn't mine, which they explained to me in the email I got this morning. Now, not only is my mailbox not safe, my inbox isn't either, and since we know Germany's trying to modernize and become a little more digitized. I have a new word for the German lexicon, e-postangst. 